Leaving Cert Higher Level Maths 2023, this is the solution video to paper one, question three. So paper one, question three, uh, in part A, we have the proof of root two, and then in part B and C, we have logs. So the proof of root two, first of all, um, I have a video on this uh, that I'll link below that goes into a bit more detail, but I'll show you just exactly what you need to have written down for, to get full marks for this question. So first of all, we assume that root two is rational. So assume root two is rational. So that means root two can be written as some number a over b, where a and b are both elements of z. And b cannot be equal to zero because then you'd have zero on the bottom. And in this situation, the highest common factor of a and b is equal to one. So there is no higher common factor between those two. So if this is true, then let's work through it. If we square both sides, we'd get two is equal to a squared over b squared. And then we could multiply both sides by b squared to get two b squared is equal to a squared. So that means that a is even because it could be written as two times a number. So that means a squared is even, which also means that a itself is even, therefore a is even. So that means a can be written as a number, um, sorry, not a, a can be written as a number times two. So two times a number k, where k is an element of z. Likewise, we can, from this line, say that uh, 2b squared can now be written as, instead of a, we have 2k, so that's 2k in brackets to be squared. So if I square that out, I get 2b squared is equal to 4k squared. I can divide across by 2 to get b squared is equal to 2k squared, and then that means b squared is even. b squared is even because it's written as two times a number. Therefore, b is even. So this is the key. We have b is even and we also have a is even. So a and b are both even. So therefore, the HCF, the highest common factor, is not equal to one. It must be two or more. Um, and this co contradicts our original statement, which contradicts our assumption. So if you have everything written there, as I have it there, you'll get full marks, which in this question, out of 30 was 10 marks for that proof. On to part B. Uh, part B is a logs question. Um, the first bit, t is a positive real number and you're given this log of t base three plus log of t base nine plus log of t base 27 plus log of t base 81 is equal to 10. Find the value of t and give your answer in the form of three to the power of or, where or is an integer. Hint, use this formula. That's the change of base formula for logs. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna change all of these logs to base three, because we can see that three, nine, 27, and 81 are all powers of three. So I'm gonna go straight into it. Log um, of t base three, we don't need to change. Log of t base nine, I'm gonna rewrite that. It'll be log of t base three over log of nine base three. Same with log of 27, so that'll be log of t base three over log of 27 base three. And then for 81, it'll be log of three, or t base three over log of 81 base three. And that's gonna be equal to 10. Log of nine base three, that's equal to two. Log of 27 base three, that's equal to three. Log of 81 base three, that's equal to four. So we can rewrite this again as log 
of t base 3 plus log of t base 3 over 2 plus log of t base 3 over 3 plus log of t base 3 over 4 and that's equal to 10. So now our logs are all base 3 but I have these fractions so I need to get rid of the fractions multiply everything by the lowest common denominator which would be 12. So I've multiplied this by 12 I get 12 log t base 3. If I multiply this by 12 2 into 12 goes 6 so I get 6 log t base 3 Multiply this by 12, 3 into 12 goes 4, so it'll be 4 log t base 3. Multiply this by 12, 4 into 12 is 3, so that'll be plus 3 log t base 3. And that's equal to 10 times 12, which is 120. How many logs do I have altogether? I have 12, 6, 4, and 3. So altogether I have 25 log t base 3. That's equal to 120. I can now divide across by 25 uh, to get log of t base 3 is equal to 120 over 25. I have to find the value of t, so I change from log form to exponential form. So to do that, it's t is equal to the same base 3 to the power of 120 over 25. And that can be simplified down to 3 is equal to 24 over 25. So t is equal to 3 to the power of 24 over 25. Out of the 30 marks for that question, uh, that was worth 10 as well. And then finally on to part c. Part c is a small little question there, just a little bit of explanation. So explain what log m base 6 means where m is a positive real number. So uh, sample answer you would say is uh, it's the power you multiply or the power you need rather the power you need to raise t to to get m and you could say 6 to the power of x is equal to m and then the last part, part two in C, uh, m is a real number is it? and m is greater than six. What information does this give us about the value of log of m base six? Well, that means that the log of m base six is greater than one. And that's 10 marks for part C in total as well. Okay, so thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just ask them in the comments below and I will see you in the next video.